Hi, my name is Eric Wong at IDF 2013, and I'm here with... Jim Choate from Agilent Technologies. So, Jim, what does Agilent do? We make test and measurement equipment for physical layer validation for USB technology. For USB technology, great. And uh, you're going to show us some sort of demo around USB 3.1. Correct. Great, let's take a look. So here I have a 33 gigahertz oscilloscope and I'm measuring a 5 and a 10 gig super speed transmitter signal integrity. So channels 1 and 3 are connected to a simple USB 3 flash drive running at 5 gigabits per second. Channels 2 and 4 come off our high uh, performance bit error rate tester generating a 10 gigabit per second signal. So these are data inputs. USB 3 in through here, 10, gigabit, 10 gigabit per second USB 3.1 like signal going in here. Correct. So if you look at the bit error or the uh, the bit times, we have a 100 picosecond unit interval on the channels 2 and 4 inputs to the scope. And then using our jitter decomposition software, we're analyzing in real time the jitter on this uh, signal coming in from our bit error rate tester. So when you test a USB 3 transceiver, first step you test the transmitter outputs directly using this system software to analyze your RJ and PJ spectrogram. And then you would also hook up your bit error rate tester to calibrate the signal that's going to go into the receiver to try to break it at the required test points for jitter compliance and receiver uh, jitter tolerance testing. So if I understand correctly, you're ready to go to test a 10 gigabit per second uh, USB 3.1 transceiver. We are ready to go. We have the baseline equipment requirements uh, nailed with the scope bandwidth requirements and the bit error rate tester. The underlying algorithms will need to be fine-tuned and tested against the test spec requirements that are under development today, as well as validated against real silicon. So Jim, if I understand correctly, you're ready to start testing a USB 3.1 10 gigabit per second transceiver. Correct. We have the baseline hardware requirements with uh, oscilloscope bandwidth as well as a bit error rate tester, but the underlying analysis analysis algorithms will have to be fine-tuned with real silicon and adapted to meet the final test specification requirements. Great. Okay. Jim, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, you're welcome. Wave to the camera.